Hey, what's up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. Welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesdays. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove reverb from dialog in under two minutes. This is the dialog we're working with today. This is a test inside of the photography studio where there is a decent amount of room reverb. So you can hear the reverb there. That was recorded with my crappy cell phone inside of the photography studio next door. And we're going to use RX7's Dialog D reverb module to get rid of that for us. So I'm gonna come over here to the Dialog D reverb, open it up, and we only have a few parameters to adjust here. We've got the reduction slider. This is if reverb is detected, how much should we get rid of it? On infinite is, hey, RX7, get rid of it all the way. Sensitivity is how broad of a definition of reverb should RX look for? So higher values are going to get rid of more reverb, quote unquote, but because it's such a wide net of possibility, it's gonna get some artifacting because you're gonna end up removing some of the voice of the dialogue as well. Start off around five is a good place. Maybe go a little bit lower if you can. If you can't, if it's really too reverby, go up to higher values to see what it comes up with. Ambience preservation is the background noise that is constant throughout any particular audio take. And this is how much you wanna keep of that. So I'm just gonna leave it at 10. I mean, I can go ahead and just turn it all the way off. If you double click any of these, it will go back to a starter position and ambience preservation is on zero to begin with. So let's go ahead and pull this down to three. For separation algorithm, I always use advanced joint channel. This is the highest quality separation algorithm available. And let's just go ahead and preview what these settings sound like. This is a test inside of the photography studio where there is a decent amount of room reverb and you can also hear the mellow drone of the air conditioner. That's incredible. It's done such an incredible job. Just for the sake of checking things out, let's go to five and see what that sounds like. This is a test inside of the photography studio where there is a decent amount of room reverb. So five sounds really good too. And it's really a toss up. It's whichever one you think sounds the best between the two. Let's go ahead and render this. And now we can hear the high quality version of these settings. This is a test inside of the photography studio where there is a decent amount of room reverb. So that's where it is. This is a test inside of the photography studio where there is a decent amount of room reverb. Is that not incredible? So anyway, that's your two minute tip for this week. Removing reverb from a dialogue take from really any place is really easy inside of the dialogue D reverb module inside of RX7. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.